Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This time I'll show you how to add RGB LEDs to your desk with the objective of controlling them via software on your PC. The brain behind the functionality of this video is this small RGB controller from Cooler Master, which I reviewed it as well. Check that video out to know more. Very well, to start this video off, our first problem is that while the controller ships with everything needed to control LEDs, it does not come with an extension big enough for our intended use. So let's go make one! After we grab all of the required material and equipment, we will start by opening an Ethernet cable to use the cabling inside. That's easy. We have to define which cables will carry what. Since some cables are already painted with some of the colors needed, the blue wire will be used for the blue connector for simplicity's sake. Make sure you keep track of the pinout and don't solder the 12 volt cable to the wrong pin. As usual, the Cooler Master manual is without reproach, very clear and easy to read. It even states the pinout, so that is just perfect. Let's get soldering then. When soldering, don't hold the tip of the wire. These are high temperatures and you will burn yourself. I keep forgetting about that. After one tip is done, it's time to make the cable a bit nicer. I used shrinking sleeve I had lying around. Since the cable is fairly big, it's a bit time consuming, but after you shrink it down, it will look a lot better. Don't be rough, I actually broke one of the solder points. Before we move onto the LED strip, we have to cut it to size. Pay attention to the markings on the strips, it will show clearly where you can cut it or have simple soldering points, meaning you can cut there. Usually LED strips will have pre-soldered RGB connectors on both sides. Since I haven't yet used mine, I don't have to worry about that, I can just connect it directly and be done with it. So time for the first test and success! It actually works. Huh. I'm impressed. With this out of the way, time to make all of this more presentable. To give the desk a more presentable and professional look, I decided to use aluminum LED casings that look gorgeous. These casings will help to not only dissipate the harsh light from the LEDs, but also to dissipate whatever heat may be generated. With the strip now cut to size, it's easy to use the glue from the strip to glue it to the aluminium. Assemble everything up and it's basically done. I decided to use double sided tape. Easy enough, you can bolt it or screw it instead if you want. But I did not want anything that permanent, so glue it is. So what do you think? How does it look? The aluminum casing gives an awesome look to a rather simple mod that you can easily do it at home. And it only took me about 30 to 40 minutes. So, and what about that Cooler Master controller? Without going too much into detail, it has quite a lot of flexibility. The software allows us to control several devices at the same time. So RGB fans, LED strips or whatever else you may want. It's cool and it has modes that you can assign to different devices, but check my video about it for more information.
and we're done for today i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and leave your like and comments if you liked it and see you next time now i'll leave you with the outtakes frank fucking idiot it's the full bloody first time i'm dying on my white mage useless tank i mean as long as you use cooldowns it can always be one of those tanks that don't get used cooldowns What's a cool time, exactly?